What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists and welcome to On The Bench with Pete, the series you put on in the back and as your hobby or paint along with me. Gonna get some hobby done here, gonna get some paint on some unpainted miniatures, gonna finish projects off, gonna clear your bench, whatever it is you need to do, prepare for night edition, whatever, or your new game, whatever it may be. Let's get some work and hobby done. So get yourselves ready, get your things, your paint glues, whatever you need beverage tea coffee whatever and let's get to the bench right okay so here we are on my bench do you know i've lost one of these as well i had i had a yellow one with a lot of paint on it you know spillages and uh, general working dirty stuff and <laughs> i've obviously put it away somewhere but can i find it can i hack anyway what am i going to be working on well hopefully these miniatures here that I got from my friend Ralph for the uh, my Congo game, and these games I, I already had these miniatures. I was I'm quite a way through. Let's do do a few more details on them, and I've got this knight character to do. He's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, it's all it's all good. It's all flowing well, I believe. Uh, I've determined that that was feathers on his his helmet there, so that's all going to be good. I've got other stuff to do. I've got this creature here to do that I started a little while ago now. Finish him off. Get some glue on his base here. I want to do that if I can. Yeah, I've got I've got the. Um, texture earth texture brown earth it's great fantastic for basing congo i based the others in the darker earth but uh with all the rest of it i'm going to be doing in in this lighter brown so think 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 put my glasses on and what i'm going to do i think is to Try and glue this fellow onto his base here, if I can. All right, this is not the easiest. Not the easiest of things to accomplish. Let me tell you. Right, so we're going to leave that to one side. Hopefully, he could dry off in this heat because it's so hot today. It's 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 really hot and humid. And yeah, I'm just going to pop him off to the side there. I got this a guy I dug out as well to do. I've got to um, actually, I've got to determine whether. I, I'm going to yes I'm going to put him to one of these bases I think so I'm just going to go and get a base so bear with me a moment it's alright i am just gone to the other side of my studio to pick up a a lid holder I can use for him So I'm coming back now. I'm coming back. Right, I'm back with my pot. Right, let's get my microphone back out of my pocket. Oh dear, dear. Okay. Well, that was fun. Need some tack. Now to hold him down. Whether I'm going to put him on a circular base, circular base, circular base, I don't know. Probably yes, to make him as tall at least as my other miniatures. That would make sense. Make sure he's thoroughly dry 
Now this guy's a pulp um, investigator, like pulp Cthulhu, whatever. That's oh, well, that's okay. I I need because what I'm planning on doing is a solo Cthulhu adventure. See where that takes me. Actually, I want to run myself through uh, the beginnings of a scenario I created for my group a long time ago, and to see what random elements can crop up with that. So obviously, it'll have to be slightly different, but it'll be be similar. It'll be a similar enough starting point. I just want to see, really where it goes I know he's not really the right let's zoom in a bit here so he he's not really the right type of venture for in like a 1920s investigator but then he might be who knows that sort of cowboy hat's a bit weird on him but I don't know he might be a fan we might have picked it up on a a trip somewhere where he was on a on a job. He's a private investigator, my character. So I would kind of like a a, a figure to represent him. And I think he'll do nicely. Um He's got a flashlight in one hand and a pistol in the other. That's, that's perfect. That really is perfect. Uh, let's see. Yeah, get some uh, get some primer on him. Maybe be in good shape. Right. But what colour primer do I put on him? Hmm, that's a question. Hmm, what colour primer would I use? But a grey, I think. Yeah, grey. A grey primer. I'm going to use a grey primer. And not a... Ghost grey. Oh grey, I'm just going to use grey I think. That's the only thing I've got to watch with these humid temperatures now. Things don't dry up or go get weird. So I'm just shaking up my surface primer here for a bit. Don't worry, I will come to my Congo figures shortly. I just want to get the primer on him so he can be drying. So I can then start applying paint on him. Well, I've got to find it. a brush, a suitable brush. Well, I'll use that one. Pro Art Miniature Painting. It's a bit naked, so that'll work quite well. Yeah. Grey. So, on his hat and his face so I'll be able to use the um, like Gilliman flesh or Darko flesh for his skin then I've got a few brown contrast paints which I want to use for his coat and hat Trousers is going to be a different matter. Right, so popping these on here. 
so I've been I've I've recently put up a um, YouTube channel of the week. You you would have seen it by now if you've seen it, and it was me myself and die. Absolutely brilliant channel. Can't recommend that enough. If you're into solo role playing, that's the one to go to. It'll show you all how it's done. Um, he's really he's really gotten into his um, mythic game master emulator there and he, he he uses it really well and he makes good decisions um, like sensible decisions doesn't just say oh you know like do I do I find the thing that will help me to complete the quest there now which it wouldn't be a logical thing to ask because you know you've always got that chance that it could say well yeah It's a great oracle though, I have to say, it's the best one I've come across so far. I think percentage oracles are, the, you know, for me the best. And I like the aspect of rolling dice to determine, you know, the answer. So I, I'm, I'm one of those people, right, that just loves rolling dice. I can't help it, It's that's just me. Right, so my Cthulhu character is primed, so he can be put to one side now. That brings me to my lovely little Congo figures. And what I've got to find, essentially is my other texture tool because I don't really want to be using a a new one so I'm kind of keeping this for best as it were Let's see if I can find texture tool it's somewhere Let's see if I can find There it is. I got it, I got it. Panic over, I have it. Right. So as you can see here, I've got two. Let's zoom out a little bit for this. Yeah, I've got two. Um, so I'm going to be using my older one. I'm going to apply the texture. any because it's for pretty expensive stuff this it's brilliant but it's not cheap right so I've got my bin near near to hand Right, I'm making the right mess of things here. <sighs> could do with overalls, yes I could. Right, okay. Yes, this is uh, a nice consistency. So it will darken down with um, a wash anyways. So 
So I've painted this guy using some contrast paints. I've not finished him yet, but I just want to get the basing um, done on him. Because I know that will keep my spirits alive for the rest of it. Well, I've had a disturbing letter from Department of uh, Work and Pensions today saying, basically saying I've got a shield for another month. I, I, I can't afford it. I just can't afford it, you know. Um, so I'm going to be speaking to my my new manager on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so I'll be speaking to him on Friday to say, look, is there anything can be done about this? Because you know, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you know, I've got a new um, hours. I thought I was gonna be doing eight till two, which was fantastic. And uh, I, yeah, I was looking forward to getting back. You know, I just uh, feel. I feel like I've been to prison to be honest in that respect I mean sure you know I like I've liked being at home who, who wouldn't you know but I I like the routine that I, I had before it, it was working well for me I just I don't know it's just this whole country at the moment is on its knees it would seem economically and it's like it's a nice day today right so you'd be thinking you know those of you that aren't sure you'd be thinking oh it's a nice day should we go somewhere and I think well there's nowhere I want to go because anyway you'd have to queue up to get in anyway so no call me crazy but I don't find that enjoyable. Yeah, fun. So no. The answer is I didn't want to. I didn't want to go anywhere today because I mean I wasn't the exactly the extrovert anyway. But yeah, facing all done. I wasn't the extrovert anyway, right? But now put me right off right, so I'm going to place my basing material back so that's out of the way get rid of my paper towel look at this cleaning as I go damn I'm good what a good boy. <laughs> right, so that's done and that's done. <sighs> now I'd like to do some work on this chappy. I think we need the um, flesh. Uh, we'll use Midland Flesh by P3. bit like Cadian flesh tone it's only his face that's uh, on display so and what brush am I going to use to paint trying to find brushes at the minute. Uh, detail brush there. We'll use that one. Okay. So let's pop some of this onto our palette, like so. Bit of water, water it down. 
and then wash off. Wow, we're nearly 20 minutes for it already. I can't believe that. Done quite a bit already though. You glued the base to that strange looking alien thing. Incidentally, that is going to be used, well, in, I have in mind to use it in uh, Alien RPG, but I suppose you could use it for Call of Cthulhu. Right. And that's it. Just face them. Wow. in some highlights on Mary what's her face here ah that's that done wow we're kicking through these now then mr. Knight he's going to need Some lead belcher, isn't he? It would seem so. Get my metallics. Going out steel, no. Lead belcher. And here we go. We paint back. Yeah, I think that pulp investigator is probably dry now. I can probably start painting him if I wanted. <laughs> How mad is that? Being in real time, I know you technically don't have to um, prime. Reaper miniatures, but I always like to, for one, and for two, I want to um, use contrast on him as well at some point, like with the coat and whatever. Right. Might even use this this brush to do the majority of the lead belchering so if I do all his armour lead belcher then what I've got is I've got some different shades of silver like from the very bright and I can do different um, areas, different plates, different colours, possibly. I'm looking forward to getting a, a, a solo game of Call of Cthulhu down. Because, you know, <laughs> looks like I'm going to be isolated for a bit longer that's just crazy right. nearly time to change brushes nearly nearly time I must phone my mama. I haven't phoned her today. See how she is. Yeah. 
Oh, there he is, looking at you at the camera. Sir Percival. <laughs> Good name, right? I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but just doing his helmet here. The idea is to get all all the all lead belched, and then take it from there. Some chain mail or some lighter lighter plates. Sorry if you can hear the fan blowing in the background here. It's just so, so hot. It, I need it on. It's lovely, lovely and cooling. I don't know if he's got a moustache, this guy, or not. Hard to tell. It could be Flash. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. We can decide to make it that way. I'm really digging this dude. Sir Percival. I like it. I like it a lot. I'll make the guard on his sword gold, I think, or bronze. Please don't. Fans are making a different noise now. Please don't pack up. Please don't pack up. <laughs> we do have another one in indoors. That I could probably dig down. It's bigger though. It takes up more room. That's the only thing. Right, I think this guy's ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. Right, I'll just check on my phone. All right, okay. She's my wife's doing this um, psychology course, and you know it's um, she's done an assessment. She's she's got a long way to go on it yet, but uh, yeah, she's just done an assessment, which it's all looking good. All right, doesn't look like I'm going to be able to paint put paint on these Congo figures. For a while, at least till the base. Perhaps I should have left the basing till later. Well, hindsight's a great thing. I could put some Steel Legion drab around the rim of these two bases. Uh, I'll, I'll do that now. Steel Legion drab. It's coming together, it's all coming together, which is good. Yes, I want to do, obviously I want to do a, a Cthulhu um, solo adventure. I, I'm, I'm just wanting to see on the beginnings of an adventure I wrote for my group, then turn it on its side. So that I don't know what's going to happen after I get to this place. Um, how I would play with random, the random events of the solo emulators uh, in the background. How that would change and define the course of my game. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm just digging through all my old stuff. I'm still trying to find. I know I've got the notes. I found my rough maps of my um, 
campaign. It looks like I might have to redo them a bit, but just for the initial area. So if I was playing that game, how would I have done it differently? Yeah. Figures always look so much better when you've sorted their bases out. Yeah. So that's Steel Legion Drab done. Wow. I've progressed a lot quicker than I was thinking I would. I can come to look at um, my Cthulhu miniature now then. Um, yeah, so flesh. Go with. So I was going to put Gilliman flesh on him. Dark Oath. Oops. There we go. I'll use this. Dark Oath flesh. I'm thinking these paints have been out about a year now, these contrast paints, haven't they? So, where does the time go, eh? On his face, and I'll just try to do his hands. I don't think he's got gloves on, no. It doesn't look as if he's wearing gloves to me. Pop that back. Now, now, you guys are going to have to let me know what you're working on as well, because I like reading that, you know. Always good. Don't know what to use for his coat yet. I might just leave it for a while. I might, I might use snake bite leather on his hat, though. Yeah. But I'd have to wait for the other two dry before I do that that's okay got a shirt to do as well does he want a white shirt or no See, I'm thinking he wouldn't have a white shirt he could have a grey shirt I suppose Follows that that might might be a thing. And certainly he can have black shoes, but I don't know. Hmm. Pop him back to one side. I think for the purpose of what I want to use this miniature for. I'm going to call it done because it's only like representative of... Actually no, I'll put some red in his midsection. Uh, red now. Flesh tear is red. Ah, it's just red. That'll do. It'll do. 
Yeah, no, he's got some like veiny things sticking through in his midsection. Yeah. So this guy is based on a poker chip. You know, I've always said how useful poker chips can be. And they used to be a great charity shop find. You're always finding them in charity shops. They make fantastic bases though, they really do. Right, so I'm gonna call him done actually. Uh. Right, so what other annoying little details do I need to do on these characters? Her book for sure. And her hair. And with the back of her book. Uh, the back of her book can be snake bite leather, can't it? Did I just put that away? No. It's here. I might invest in um, one of those pot holders sometime. You know the ones? Stop your pots from falling over yeah I think they look quite good I can't do these bales the same colour as her skin. Right, so what I will do if I'm careful I might be able to paint her. Um hmm. Zandri dust, maybe more cast bone. I think Zandri dust is going to be useful here. Yeah, so. Andrew Dust. I paint the. Oh, she's got something on her head, like a. Head scarf or something. What sort of colour could that be then? Uh, same colour as a skirt, me thinks. Or not. Pink Horror Emperor's Children is the one I used. But I think I'm going to use pink horror for the headscarf. So it's it's different. You might not see it's different. 
but subconsciously you might see it's different. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then I'm going to put some uh, maybe caribou crimson on her skirt to get the uh, the recesses done there. Pink horror. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, so this head scarf. I believe it covers all her head. Well, all of her hair. That's how I'm imagining it. So that's how I'm going to be painting it as if it was doing that. Yes. So that's good. So that's that. She's got a pot or something in her hand as well. So I'm going to need to take care of that as well. Make some sort of terracotta pot. We can make it a gold one, I suppose, or a brass one change it up a bit but no I quite like that so I'm going to put a wash on her now yeah caribou crimson nice little wash My regiment brush. Yeah, so putting this wash on on her skirt here will go into all the recesses. And make it look amazing. Why well, they call this stuff liquid talent? <laughs> and after I've finished this video, I'm going to have to call my mum because I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Most remiss of me. Well, she doesn't expect my call any specific time of day. She knows I'll okay. get. Sometimes she tries to phone me. But she messes it up, she says. She gets it wrong, so it's easier if I phone her. Fan is changing again. Though I do hope it doesn't pick up. Perfect fan for in here. It's perfect size. Wow, this um, just dries so quickly at the moment in here. Paints are drying really fast. It's uh, it's the weather to paint quickly, isn't it? Yeah. I think she's a brilliant figure, this one. This is another one of the ones that um, I got from Ralph. See that there? I'm painting her up. I'll be putting highlights back onto the skirt. When that's all dry, I don't think that's going to dry anytime soon. My other witch doctor. I feel like I should try and put some yellow striping on. Onto the snake. I'm going to go with phallic yellow for this because it's a nice bright, nice bright colour.
Sorry, I am concentrating here. Do apologize. <laughs> Maybe one of those jobs I wished I'd never started, isn't it? That's the trouble with these lines, they're so thin, and with the fan on, they're practically drying before I get a chance to apply them. And of course, the brush is drying out as well, which doesn't help. Putting yellow lines, rings around its body might make it seem a bit more poisonous or dangerous or whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's such a delicate operation, this. <laughs> oh dear. This better be worth it, dude. This better be worth it. What are we on? We're on 50 minutes. Yeah, we're definitely going to be calling it a day when I've done this, I tell you. <laughs> yes, definitely. Watch Peach struggle with yellow lines. Hmm. Whew. Nearly there, guys. We're nearly there. for the silence but uh, actually no I'm not I'm not apologizing because this this is a tricky operation mm. right so there we go There. God damn it. <laughs> I've uh, put some yellow stripes on his snake. Try and make it a bit more deadly looking. It's a bright yellow too, so that will that will show up. On tabletop. And yeah, so sorry for that silence. You watching me struggle there, though. You you really were. Um, so my glasses are coming off now. We are zooming out now. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's it. So, yes. Like I say, sorry for the silence, but I really had to concentrate there. But that was worth it. <laughs> I think. I think I like the look of that now. Because if I didn't, I would have just gone back over the snake. Painted it red all over or something but yeah so i'm i'm pleased with that uh, pleased with my progress so i've done his uh bit of work on his snake on that witch doctor um i've done and i've done their bases uh her, his and mary whatever she's called done a bit of her book not much of them i know old sir percival here i've done his his armor The other Congo figure, look how dry that's looking now. Wow. Yeah, so that one. The basing and her headdress and washed her on the skirt. Um, I just did the basing on the, the other witch doctor. And of course, I, I, I primed 
and put some flash tone on my investigator and I'm, I'm calling done this alien type thing here because I just yeah cause it's not it's not really a hugely important miniature it's just a representation anyway well they all are aren't they but you know what I mean it's just for me to know like where they are in relation to the characters the characters are the important ones uh, and I do place more emphasis on detail in miniatures when it comes to role playing but that wasn't wasn't initially for a role playing game it was just to, to paint but then it's and I decided it would be for the alien game but you could use it in Cthulhu you could do I'm melting here guys it's very hot but thanks for joining me it's a wonderful hot day uh, this is the kind of weather that is my absolute favourite hot weather My other, one of my windows is open so there is air you know trundling in I'm going to go for my mum now, because I should have done that earlier. And thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you're working on in the comments below. Please check out my Patreon campaign if you can. The link's on the uh, home home screen of Mini Warzone. You'll get access then to ad-free videos that are exclusive to patrons only. And you can do it for as little as a dollar a month. So, uh, yeah, hop on and just try it out for a while. That way you can see if you like the extra content, the regularity of the extra content, and all that kind of stuff, and then, you know, you can always just cancel it if you don't like it. But thanks ever so much for joining me. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Stay safe, be well, be kind. All lives unite, and I'll see you on another video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.